Hello Taurus, this is Renee and welcome back. This is going to be a love reading, but we're going to do this reading a little bit differently. We're going to take a look at your energy. We're going to take a look at your person's energy. And we're going to take a look at their true feelings, their hidden feelings. Um, something that you may not be aware of. Um, and then we're going to take a look at the outcome. Let me know if you enjoy this spread. Um, see if it's something that I want to kind of do again or just let this one kind of fade off. Okay. Okay, Taurus, we will start with your connection to this person. We'll start with your connection. What do we have for Taurus? We have... Show off your sparkle and shine from the inside. For your person, we have embrace your inner divine goddess. Okay, for you, what is Taurus's feelings about this relationship, about this person? What is Taurus's feelings about this person? Enlightenment. What is this person's feelings towards Taurus? Discovery. Beautiful. At the bottom we have perfection. Wow. Very interesting so far, Taurus. Okay, energy for Taurus in this love connection. Energy for Taurus. Intuition and downloads. And energy for this person. How does this person feel about Taurus? Cut the cords. Hmm. And I don't feel like that's a bad thing. And we have divine timing. Okay. Let's take a look a little bit deeper. We're going to use a few different decks. We're going to use a deck for your energy. We're going to use a different deck for your person's energy. And then we're going to use another deck <laughs> for the connection. Okay, so what is Taurus's energy in this relationship? What is Taurus's energy in this relationship? The Seven of Wands. The Knight of Cups. And the Lovers. Oh, wow. Beautiful energy, Taurus. I'm loving this for you. You have the High Priestess on the bottom. Wonderful energy. Okay, we, we will start with your side first, Taurus. Okay. So, basically, I feel like your current energy, you're currently shining. You're sparkling from the inside out. I feel like you're very excited about this situation. This person pleases you. I feel like you have a lot of new discoveries in the situation. I feel like you feel enlightened. You kind of feel like a child, you know, going back to childhood. You kind of feel like you're like discovering new things. You may be getting visions, downloads, intuition. You may see the future. You may see yourself with this person kind of growing through this situation. I believe that's the reason why this intuition and downloads is here. I feel like you're, you, you may be dreaming about this person while you're sleeping. You're dreaming about what can be, what will be, what's to come. Um, and I feel like it's, it's making you very excited, very happy, very joyful. You know, but I feel like underneath 
underneath it all, I feel like you're still protecting. You're still protecting the situation. You're still protecting your heart in a way. You may feel like there may be others out there. You may have some sort of competition. Or <clears throat> you feel like there's still need to put up your self-defenses. You know? And in some regard, I feel like you've let down some of those those defenses. But you still have some up. You haven't let down all of your guard. You haven't opened yourself up completely to the situation. Because I feel like in the back of your mind, Taurus, you kind of feel like something may go wrong at any second. Something's going to change everything. And it's just going to blow it all away. Hmm. Let's see. We have the Knight of Cups, Taurus. So I really feel like you're really enjoying the situation. I feel like you're growing to care very deeply about this person. You're discovering new things about this person you feel like this person may be the one may be the one that you want to settle down with the one you want to grow with the one you want to discover these new pleasures these new adventures with i feel like you're you're that that's what's bringing on all the excitements all of the downloads while you're sleeping because you feel like this is the one and in all reality, Taurus, this may be the one. This may be your soulmate. And I, I really feel like you believe this, that this person was made just for you, you know? I feel very strongly that this pleasure is going to turn deeply into something greater into something maybe much more than you expect Taurus because I feel like with the lovers card underneath the knight of cups I feel like this is going in the direction of something very long lasting at least that's the way you see it that's the way you hope it's going to be that's the way you're envisioning it and you may be true it may be, they may be the one. You know, for your person, we have embrace your inner divine goddess. So I feel like this person is really embracing the situation. I feel like they have a lot of excitement as well. They're discovering new things. They're seeing things from a new perspective they're I feel like they're in some kind of exploration trying to get to your heart you know they're kind of in this unknown territory as they get closer to your heart space as they they keep going on this journey and we have cut the cords so like i said you feel like there may be other people involved like you may have some sort of competition and i feel like there may be competition but i feel like this person is kind of cutting the cords with anyone in their past anyone um outside of your relationship. I feel like they're cutting the cords because they've discovered something that they've been searching for and hadn't been able to find. You know, that's you, Taurus. I, I feel like they've been searching for you and they're willing to kind of put the little black book aside, uh, delete all the extra phone numbers in their cell phone, you know? Um, 
Yeah, and I feel like they're ready to cut the cords on anything that doesn't have to do with you. I feel like this person is a little starstruck, you know? You may be someone, and I, I believe you're very attractive, but you may be someone that they feel is out of their league, you know? Your beauty may be that great that they feel like you're just out of their league. Like, any other way, they would never even get your attention. Interesting energy. Let's take a look at their energy about the situation. Taurus. What is this person's energy about Taurus? What are they feeling about Taurus? What doesn't Taurus know? The Knight of Swords. The Two of Pentacles. And the Ace of Wands. Beautiful. Okay, so with this Knight of Swords and this Two of Pentacles, you know, the Knight of Swords is the most aggressive of the tarot, they're also the most thoughtful the most intelligent, the most strategic. And I feel like this person may have went into strategy in order to win your heart. They may have had to kind of get your attention in some kind of odd way in order to Kind of keep your attention. But I feel like this person is ready to battle for you. This person is ready to win at all costs for you. They're, they're ready to fight to the death. You know? They're ready to go through the struggle. Go through whatever they need to in order to gain your acceptance. To gain your trust. And I do feel like this person was juggling more than one person at one time. They're, they were juggling. That's the reason why we have this cut the cords. Because this person, while you were dating or, you know, when they thought that the situation wasn't so serious, they may have been seeing someone along with seeing you. And... Now, I feel like this person is moving past that situation. They're letting this situation go. They're moving through this. And they're ready for this new beginning because you kind of bring out this spark. You bring out this passion, this willingness. And I feel like you accept this person with all of their flaws. And that's how they feel. They feel like you're very welcoming. Like you're... Like you're, tr you're treasuring them. But they're ready for this new beginning. They're ready to move forward. They're ready to take this leap. You know? Give me another card for this connection. Tell me more about the way this person feels about Taurus. Tell me about the way they feel about Taurus. Oh, two of them. Okay. Okay, we've got the Tower. And we've got the Queen of Cups. Okay, so this person is ready to risk it all. They're ready to change everything. Just demolish whatever was and just go with what will be. They're ready to just start absolutely fresh with this Queen of Cups energy. I, I feel like this person is falling very deeply. This person may want to support your dreams. They want to see you aspire 
to do great things. We have the Knight of Wands at the bottom. So yeah, definitely this person is, is ready to take action. And I feel like Taurus is going to be very unexpected. I feel like you are not expecting this person to fall so easily, so quickly. That's the reason why you have these doubts. You're still holding up a few boundaries because this person may be moving fast. This person may see some kind of value in you that they haven't been able to find in others. And they don't want to risk it. They don't want to risk losing you. So they're willing to go beyond the measures of any ordinary and, you know, just begin something that can be extraordinary. You know? Okay, let's take a look at this connection. Let's take a look at this connection. For you, we have the Six of Swords. So I feel like you're moving past these boundaries that you've got set up. You're moving these guards down, you know? You're slowly lowering them, but I feel like you're slowly lowering them. You're kind of testing this person to see how wavy the waters are, if that makes sense. You're testing this person to see if they are as trustworthy as you may feel they are. Tell me about this connection, Spirit, for Taurus. Yeah, the Five of Wands. The Knight of Cup and the Five of Wands. You're ready to fight for love. You're, you, you still feel like you're competing. Don't get me wrong. You still feel like you're competing. You feel like you're going through this challenge like it may be all sport. But I feel like you're, you're really fighting for love. You're really fighting for this connection. You see something very valuable in this connection. Tell me about this connection, Spirit, for Taurus. The Seven of Wands. See, we still have those guards up. We still have those guards up. And I feel like it's... You're guarding yourself in a way, Taurus, that you may not even realize it. But subconsciously, you're holding back. You're not giving your all. You're not putting the full effort into this because... You're still feeling kind of guarded. You're still feeling kind of this melancholy, like something could go wrong at any moment. You know, you're stuck on that situation. And it may be due to these downloads, due to your intuition. Now, I'm not saying that your intuition is wrong, so don't take me there. Um, because if that's how you're feeling with your intuition, you should follow that feeling and see what lies above the water, you know? Kind of dip your head in and see what lies below. Yeah, but you're still guarding this situation. You're still... You're still protecting yourself, Taurus. And I feel like this love is it can be very strong. It can be very intense at times. I feel like sometimes this person makes you feel like you're being challenged. But they may look at it as being playful. They may think it's all sport, you know? Tell me about this person's energy on this connection. Tell me about what they're thinking. 
What are they thinking about Taurus? What do they think about this connection? The world. You complete them. You complete them. Taurus. We also have justice. And we have the death card. Okay, wow. Three major arcana comes out for this person's feelings on this connection. We have feeling complete. Karmic reward. And total transformation. And that goes along with the, the tower. Yeah, I feel like this person is changing from the way they used to be. They may have been a player. They may have dated more than one person at a time. They may have, you know, really tested the waters to see who was going to come out, you know. Um... But I feel like this person, this person is doing that because they're looking for the one. They're looking for the one that stands out from all the rest. And I feel like that's how they're seeing you, Taurus. They're seeing you as standing out from all the rest. Tell me about the combined energy. The Page of Swords. Yeah, so you bring out this person's curiosities. You make this person really second guess yourself this person is always wondering what you're going to do next you may be very spontaneous Taurus you may be very playful very, you know kind of on the wild side but I feel like this person is is waiting to see what you do next you kind of spark their curiosity I feel like they, they can't stop talking about you. The Page of Pentacles. Now look at this. Two pages. Beginnings. Childish nature. Immaturity. You know, so this person may be a little younger than you. But I feel like this person is starting on they're at the beginning of this situation they may be feeling these feelings that are coming through that they may not have ever felt before the page of pentacles they want to deliver some kind of unexpected news they want to tell you something that you totally unexpect, but is really going to make your day, you know? And the Seven of Cups. Yeah, the Seven of Cups wanted to come out in reverse, so I feel like, you know, the Seven of Cups is this person letting go of their options. They're letting go of other opportunities. They're pushing those aside because they know with you they can gain happiness. With you they can gain contentment. Okay, let's see. Let's take a look at the love cards. Let's get a love card. For Taurus. For Taurus, we have... Hand of cards, take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing your hand, gambling. Yeah, take a risk, Taurus. For your person, what do we have for this person? Wow, okay. Well, we have a couple. <laughs> 
Wow. Okay. We have the chaser. So this person may be doing things to chase you. We have sunglasses that's watching, looking, stalking. Wow. And we have addiction, codependent, obsessive, possession, controlling, has a block and restraint. So there may be some kind of addiction in this person's past. There may be some kind of obsession. Maybe that person, that's why this person is watching you. I feel like they're watching your moves. That's something that you may not be aware of. They're kind of keeping a close eye on you, Taurus. And I feel like this person feels like they're the aggressive one. They're the assertive one. They feel like they're the chaser. my love cards okay let's see what do we have for Taurus oh, oh. we have forgiveness stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste you create your reality by what you think dream and imagine now look, we have the intuition and downloads, and we have what you are imagining. Okay, for you, we also have beware of what you are projecting. For the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess equally. So the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So this person may be mirroring you, Taurus. This may be, it may be a love interest. It may be a twin flame. Um, they're mirroring you. This person is the opposite sex of you. You know? Okay, for this person, we have freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. And we have sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are eternal, one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. Okay. And what about this connection, Spirit? Give me a card for this connection. Romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. Beautiful. Okay. Now. <clears throat> now let's take a look at the inner feelings. What you don't see or what they may not show you. Let's take a look at their inner feelings. What are this person's inner feelings? Their hidden feelings. Their secret feelings that they only show to themselves. Clear your energy. Like I said, this person may be really high strung. They want to focus on you. Their focus is on you. Will you marry me? Wow, Taurus. I wasn't expecting that one. I wasn't expecting that one at all. <clears throat> you are protected. So yeah, I feel like this person will battle for you. At the bottom, we have spying on you. <laughs> so yeah, this person is watching your moves, Taurus. They're seeing what you're doing. Okay, Spirit, give me an outcome. I didn't even notice we have 7-7 seven, seven right here. 7-7. Seven, 7-7 seven. Seven, seven is very lucky. It is taking a risk. It's taking a gamble. It's also happiness is coming. It's also good fortune. Oh, 
I didn't even notice it. What is the outcome? The Nine of Wands. So I feel like this person wants to stick in there. They want to fight for your approval, fight for your... Um, fight for your... Your love. I feel like this person does not want to be single. I feel like this person can't be single. <laughs> they kind of, they have to have somebody, you know. I feel like they just, they're not one to go it alone. They have to have a companion. And the Ace of Wands again, very passionate. Yeah, there's definitely a new beginning here. There's definitely a new beginning. And we have the Six of Swords at the bottom. So I, I feel like you're moving into some kind of new space, new journey, new destination. This is taking you on new discoveries, maybe that you haven't been to before. But this person feels very deeply for you. And they're ready to cut the cords on everything that was the past. You know, they're ready to put you first, to focus on you. Let all the other options go. You know, this may be the one because I feel like, you know, this person, I feel like they're clearing their energy of this past situation, how they had to have someone at all times. You know, I feel like that's the reason why they had opportunities. They had more than one love. Um, but they're ready to cut the cords. They're ready to make a total change. Okay, Taurus, this is what I have for you. So, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And until the next reading, Taurus. Oh, and by the way, um, if you like this spread, please let me know in the comments what you think about it. No opinions are left unsaid. You know, I will take any opinion that you have. No worries. And um, until the next reading, Taurus, many blessings to you. Love and light.